high all, I purchased a lot of 27 inch Thunderbolt displays from, they were off lease. Um, and a couple of them came with the Apple Visa mounts on them. They were missing the stands. So I was trying to think of the best way to do it. I didn't want I didn't want to spend the ridiculous amount of money it cost to buy a replacement stand from Apple. It was somewhere close to like 70 bucks. So I figured I would just take a couple of the cinema dis Thunderbolt displays and uh, utilize the Visa mounts that are already on them and find like a dual dual display stand like aftermarket. And I found a couple different ones on Amazon. Um, one was rated for up to two 27 inch displays and the other was rated for I believe 13 two 13 inch to 30 inch displays so I thought I would try them both and see which one was the best fit and it was a really interesting um, outcome here um, so I've got both of them here I'm gonna I'm gonna go through each one and show you the benefits of each and kind of the drawbacks of each and it was actually pretty surprising. So here we go. So here on the left we have the Vivo dual monitor desk mount. This is model number Stand-V002F. And this was the one that was rated for up to two 27 inch displays. Um, so I went ahead and put it together. Uh, this one on the bottom it has a larger bolt. Um, underneath that bolt there are three um, smaller Allen wrench screws and that pattern there. Um, this model comes with a grommet install kit. So if you have a desk that has a, uh, you know, three inch grommet hole in it, you can secure this mount right to the desk instead of, you know, having the stand, ugly stand up on your desk. So it comes with this metal plate that goes on the bottom, I believe on the bottom of the desk. And then this would go, I'm not sure exactly. The directions have that in there, but I don't really care to learn more about it because um, that's not the application I was using. And then it's got a base, you know, base mount here that seemed pretty sturdy um, until I started putting the displays on. Um, this is the Visa plate that comes with this particular V002F model. And it actually comes with these quick screws, which are kind of nice. Um, they do have Phillips on there, so you can tweak it a little bit tighter if you want to. But I hand, I hand screwed them, and they were they were very tight. I had a hard time getting this one back off. And then it comes with a little bit of uh, hardware for setbacks on the Visa mounts if you need uh, a little bit of spacing there. Um, for me, on the cinema display... Uh, the Visa mount sticks out a good amount, so I didn't need any kind of adjustment there. Um, so here you can see I've got them hand screwed on the back of the cinema display. Um, so that's ready to go. When I put both of them on this particular display, it was it was a challenge. I moved it onto the floor in order to put both displays on because it's very tippy. Um, until you get both of them on, it doesn't really even stand up on its own. And then I had to really adjust um, the arms into a particular um, arrangement so that it was even more stable. And I have a few pictures of that I can add to this video later. Um, okay, so that's the V002F. So this one has the larger bolt on the bottom that I think gives it more, you know, durability on the on the upright bar. Um, it came with all of the cable management connectors um, separately, and they just kind of clip on the they just kind of clip on the cross member here, and then the op, the top part separates a little bit so you can fit your cables in there. So this one was okay. I I wish the base was a little bit larger, just maybe even having these ears go backwards as well for more stability, but I understand they're trying to create a little bit more desk real estate. So that's the V002F. And over here, I've got this light here just for better visibility. Um, over here we have the Vivo monitor table stand, and this is 
ver, uh, stand-V102F. Now on this piece of paper here, it says 32 inch max. However, on Amazon's listing, it does say 13 inch to 30 inch. And so I figured that if I went up to this one, it may be a little bit more durable for the 27 inch Thunderbolt display, which is a little bit heavier than most, uh, you know, 27 inch LED displays out there. So, um, so this one has on the bottom only three little Allen wrench bolts. Um, so that was kind of surprising. I thought the bigger it was, you know, that they would have that larger bolt on it. But they didn't have that. It didn't have the grommet kit. Um, and then the Visa display mount, or the, the Visa mount, comes with four Phillips head screws. And they come with quite a bit more hardware in this one for the larger, the larger bolt size. Um, some washers and again some more spacers uh, but the smaller smaller bolts again worked for the Apple Visa mount that was already on the Thunderbolt displays so I put this one together and um, it already had the the cable management accessories installed on it out of the box um, you basically just slide these arms come in one assembly and you slide it on the pole and then tighten the nut in the back with the provided tool that comes with it. Um, the base is a little bit, um, looks like it's a little bit deeper, um, not necessarily wider. Um, if we set them by each other, it may be a, a couple inches wider on each side, um, but it definitely is a little deeper. Yeah, maybe not, maybe, maybe an inch deeper. Um, but when I put the cinema displays on this one, um, I found that these bolts here, the bracket seems to be like on top of the bolt. And no matter how much I tightened this bolt, which is what I did on the other one, and it held just fine, the displays would drop. So I didn't even get a chance to test this one out and take pictures of the displays on it because they wouldn't even stay up on their own accord. So... I'm going to honestly say that uh, this V102F, which you would think would be a little bit more durable, that supports up to a 232 inches, according to the paperwork, uh, 230 inches, according to the Amazon listing, is not quite as durable as the V002F, which is rated for up to 227 inch displays. So the V002F is the one that I'm going to ultimately end up using. Um, again, I, there's probably some better options out there. I'm going to look a little bit more, um, but I liked this one because of the, the long bolt that came with it. I mean, the bolt must have been eight inches long, six to eight inches long. It seemed like I was screwing that in for quite a while. Um, and then I also like the quick, the quick hardware for the Visa mount. So that was kind of a nice feature. Um, and you didn't need any extra tools on this one. On the other one, you needed a Phillips screwdriver to install that hardware. And, um, oh, and also the these nuts attach on where the Visa mount, oops, my finger's in the way, sorry. Where the Visa mount goes on, the bracket, when you slide it on, Kind of hard to do one-handed but when you slide this on you'll see that there's a screw on the top and these little nuts go on there um there's no heart no there's no tools that came with it to tighten that on so i guess it's just a finger tight thing which is fine on this one but then on this other one it comes with these little round um, plastic pieces with a square on the bottom which fit onto here but then you have to use these little tiny Phillips screws, um, drop it down in there, and then tighten that. So not only do you have to have a Phillips screwdriver for the Visa plate, but you also have to have one for the nut to hold the, the display on so it doesn't pop up if somebody were to bump the whole display off. 
So that's kind of my review of the two Vivo displays, the V002F and the V102F. Um, I mean, now looking at those model numbers, it seems like it's the same thing, but with a one directly after the V. So I don't know what their um, model numbers insinuate on these things, but I would have thought that the one that supported up to two 30 inch displays would have been a little bit more beefier. Uh, so thank you for watching. I will probably post a few more videos since I have all these cinema displays and that's probably a good time to test out some of these stands so that some of you out there um, don't have to do all of this homework on which is going to be the best. And it's pretty risky to mess around with these cinema, dis cinema, dis cinema displays and Thunderbolt displays. Um, because you could end up breaking the glass, which is like a $70 purchase. One of these had a broken had broken glass on it when I got it, so I replaced that, which is pretty easy to do. Um, but 70 bucks for the glass, you don't want to end up having to having to replace that just to install these on a stand. So thanks for watching.